Yo, my people, welcome to Behind the Hits, hosted by Mixtape Madness with myself, Ebbs. In this series, we're going to be showcasing the growth and evolution of production in the UK rap music scene over the years. In this episode, I'll be conversing with a producer crucial to the foundation of beats within the UK. AJ Tracy, 6-7, Giggs, M Huncho, K Trap, Heady One, Wiley. We could be here all day. It's Mazza. Cool. Mazza. What are you telling me, man? I'm good, bro. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just let, let me know. Let the people know. The people at home, the people on the go, all of that. Let them know, like, what have you been up to recently? For the past year, bro, I've taken a little time out, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. I've had a lot of things going on in my family. It's been a bit of a tough year for me, you know? Yeah. What's your method to kind of get back into it? Would you have a plan about, you know, getting back into producing? Or is it like, you know, let me take my time? Bro, the worst thing you can do yeah, is try to carry on working, yeah, when your mental health yeah, is not good. Yeah, 100, 100. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just felt like, first things first, I need to take some time for me, innit? Yeah, do yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I need to focus on myself. Yeah, yeah. Like, otherwise, all of this, all this industry, all of this demand is going to get to me. For the people at home and those listening, like, Run us all through the upbringing of Mazza. I wanted to be a rapper from like the age of eight. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I liked Nelly. The Eminem and 50 Cent just started doing stuff. Two pack. Like the whole the whole 90s, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I wanted yeah, to be a, a part of all of that. And I liked the Gram scene as well. Like Gram was big. I grew up in my house listening to my mum play like R&B, so... Jazz, okay. reggae, yeah, yeah, yeah. bashment, yeah. same thing with my dad, but my dad would play on top of that yeah. drum and bass, oh, okay. garage, yeah, that's good, that's house, good. do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like all of those, you know, like our, our culture's music, yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. of that era. Yeah, yeah. Like he listened to all of that and I'd take it all in like, and I'd say it's never left me. When I started making like grand beats and stuff, yeah, yeah. I tried my best to like incorporate what I thought I was learning from the greats at the time oh, okay. that I saw on TV. Yeah, yeah. So like they were doing a lot of sampling. Yeah. I jumped on my sample game. Oh, okay. I'm listening to the kind of music that they're sampling to find their samples. Yeah, yeah. It's like old school piano pieces and oh, okay. soul music and theme theme music from movies yeah, and yeah. from about yeah eight to nine yeah. I started to get it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I've spent quite a few years now yeah. doing this repetitively over and over again, each day pushing. I used to beat myself up over over stuff behind the scenes like, yeah. oh, the kick don't sound right. Oh, the mix ain't good enough. Yeah. Oh, when I export it, it don't sound like how it sounded when it was in the program. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Loads of stuff like that and it all used to bug me out. And then over time of trying everything, yeah. something works. Okay, and something yeah, else yeah. works and something yeah, else works yeah. and something else works. Try and try by the time you look back two, three years, you're like, bro, I've come up, come up, <laughs> long come way, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Talk me through how you think sound has evolved and even what your role, you think your role in that has uh, been as you've been, you know, in the game. So I feel like in the 90s, it was a lot more simple. I feel like it was a lot more simple. It was a lot more about vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that was at the core. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Things were a lot more raw. I feel like in the early 2000s, still raw. Mm. Um, becoming a little bit more electronic yeah. and refined in that sense, but it was still very raw. raw yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Then I feel like coming up to when like, my time yeah. that I, I started to get on yeah. was, I'd say things were more refined, but because it was like a new sound had become popular yeah we were still working out what that was yeah, yeah. and i'd say now um it's very designed and it's it's like it's it's gone in a few different directions now yeah, like yeah. you've got a musical side you've got like um a pop music kind of formula yeah. to the kind of music that i make yeah. now do you know what i mean yeah. where it's like you just need like a nice little catchy cut up sample, strong bass, drums, you're done. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And that kind of does it for people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got like this kind of EDM side now. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's very, very edgy, very about the mix, about the basses, about the sounds yeah. being used. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What would you say are your favourite genres that you enjoy 
uh, what would you say are the ones you really you feel like you're good at? Because again, there might be genres there that people may have not heard released from you, but behind closed doors, it's like you're you're sitting there with a laptop studio or whatever, and you're like, nah, this is I'm hard. Like this this is I'm crazy. Like you know, talk me through that. I make like music for sync sometimes. Like yeah. uh, you can get commissioned for making like different stuff for um, clients. Oh, wow. And like sometimes they put up like adverts for like, oh, we need like um, some cinematic music yeah. for a 30 second clip. Do you okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I really like when I make that kind of shit because I'm like, oh, oh I'm Mozart. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, I, feel yeah. like, I feel like the man when I do that shit yeah. still. Outside of that, it's like, I really like like um, the Afro inspired music. So yeah. if it's Afro beat, if it's Bashment, if it's I'm a piano, I love I'm a piano at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like soulful music. Oh, okay. that's what I enjoy the most. I think making, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I've always loved soulful music. Yeah, we and some fans and some people may know that you're different. People may hear it now and be like, he claims to be different. But like, what what actually like is your like, feel, USP? Like you know your unique selling point. I do what I think is right. Yeah, all the time. Um, I like what I like and I don't like things because other people like them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people, they get coerced into liking stuff yeah, yeah. because it's it's popular. Yeah, I yeah. just like stuff because I like it and I don't like a lot of things that are popular. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Let's say you come to sit down for a session with me. Yeah? I'm a person like, you might just come for a service and I'm still going to try and give you much more. Oh, Do you know what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, and then yeah. on top of that, I'm sure about the process that I'm doing. Yeah. So I've seen a lot of producers and I'm not saying it's right nor wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I've seen a lot of producers, they kind of just go with the flow of the session and they don't stare or direct the session and I don't feel like that's real production. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I'm here to produce. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I do. Like when I'm in a session, I, I'll say to a man like, yo, that's not right. Do it like this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Involved we'll go back man. and forth. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? At the same time, though, I'm making them sound good. I'm mixing their vocals as they're recording while they're going along. So it's like it's a very efficient process that people are happy with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't pinpoint you as draw. You don't pinpoint yourself as a draw, as mm-hmm. a draw producer. So that leads me to ask, when you have these songs that to listeners are iconic, you know, you've got your Let's Lurk, your Packages, you've even got your, your Man's Not Hot, you've got just a, a load of stuff that even some people might not know of. I want to know what's your creative process what's your mindset yeah because i feel like it varies I, I, bro, every I, day i'm gonna be honest with you yeah it's all about the energy in the room the rest yeah. of it the yeah, rest of it is varies. me just making something out of nothing bro like i could yeah, yeah. i could literally click on anything yeah, yeah. oh that sounds all right let me vibe yeah, let me, and i'll yeah. vibe with it and i'll make a beat bro so yeah. it's just like do you like it you like it cool okay. you, you're getting you're getting vibes from that ah, yeah. cool let me take those vibes put some vibes on the beat yeah, and yeah. we're all happy bro but um i'll be honest like i'll be cooking up stuff out of nowhere Sometimes I don't even know how I got there. <laughs> like, bro, sometimes, yeah, yeah that's just, that's in true. the first five minutes of me making a beat, bro, I'm panicking. Come like, what if I run out of juice today? Like, what if ah, today is the yeah, day that yeah, this yeah. don't bang? Yeah, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It never actually goes like that. Yeah. But sometimes I do think like that because I'm like, I never had an idea going in. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I get the idea, like, as I go along because I guess I spent so much time working on my process. Yeah. I can always kind of create something out of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But um, I know there's some people, they have to come with an idea. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Or they have to have an idea of what they want something to sound like. Like, I don't know what my beat's going to sound like. I just know what the melody's going to sound like. There's some times where I make a melody. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I could make this this genre, or I could make this this genre, yeah. or I could make this this genre. Which one do I do? And I'll sit there for time thinking, oh, but if I go that way, it's going to be sick. And yeah, I'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah. but if I go that way, it's going to yeah, be sick. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's just really just like vibes, bro. Well, what do you think the evolution of sound is going forward? What do you think is next? And what's your role in it as time, you know, you think time progress? It's a hard, it's, bro, it's a hard I'm, question because you I'm, do a bit of everything. I'm going you know to be a pillar in this industry, bro. That's what's yeah. going to happen because I'm going to show the world over the next year or two how much they need my son and my services. One thing I can say is um, the kids coming up now, they're, they're keeping Drew alive. Yeah. But then on top of that, there's a lot of younger artists now, like 18 and up, that are making a lot of trap music. Yeah, yeah. Like So I feel like this new generation coming up, growing up, they're going to be very trap influenced. 
So we're gonna get a lot of the subgenres of trap music coming out in the UK. That's the sound. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. I like trap. I did think. I think that's the next thing for me because I'm looking at it as the sound is getting this and that and whatever. But trap, I feel like, is a thing people love to listen to. A lot of producers want to make. Let's make it happen. But yeah. just to go from what you said about. Well, do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's scared. Yeah, but Everybody's it's going to take that one no, person. No one wants to be bold and take that step and and and, and stand on their art. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? The producers we can make beats in our own yeah, yeah. free time or whatever but yeah. there's not many artists like that are currently in the spotlight yeah. that want to make trappy songs like yeah, yeah. trap yeah, apart yeah. from DBE yeah. and their thing is very 140 yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying and if you go America like not all of it is 140 there's a lot of more faster pace bouncier yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. going on no one really caters to that over here yeah, yeah. do you know what I'm saying M Huncho, same thing, it's very 140. Yeah. There's no one really catering to all the other sides of the sound that there are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? See, and that's where the pillar's going to come in. But, before we round, just to round this off, um, obviously you mentioned the youngers coming up, keeping stuff alive and whatnot. What if you could give one piece of advice to all and any upcomers coming up now as producers, you know, what would you, what would you say? Go and read the manual of your programme. Because... Because half of the questions that you ask me when you DM me is in the manual. <laughs> See, you, this is like when they say turn it on and off, guys. You need to you need to read the book. You need to read the book. As far as creation process goes, when it comes to tools you're using, you know, what have you been using? Is it the regular, regular, or anything new? Like, talk me through what you've been using to make the beats now, man. Yeah, so I'll be honest. I started off in my house, like as a bedroom producer. Yeah. It? Do you know what I mean? On the go and stuff. Like, like I said, I always used to roll my laptop. But yeah. ever since, like, I've become, like, more of a studio-based producer and yeah. stuff, I like, I, like, I like my gear. Yeah. So, like, I've got, you know, the usual, the machine, got MPC, I've got a Neve, I've got loads of different yeah. compressors, like, hardware, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? The thing I like using at the moment is um, the Circuit Rhythm by Innovation. It's pretty sick still, I can't lie. I don't know, like, I just like how it's kind of easy for me to just load up samples and start messing around with yeah, them, yeah. stretching them, chopping them, reversing them, all of that, and it's just there on the pad. Oh, like, cool, I ain't yeah. really got to move around, I ain't got to drag no files in or nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. I can just load up sounds yeah. that I've already put in earlier. Like, let's say, let's say I got a pack of samples. Yeah, yeah. Drag the whole pack of samples on, yeah. drag some drums on, and just go crazy. Oh, yeah, Do you know what I'm cool. saying? Yeah, yeah. And I can lay down like a pretty solid idea and then just bounce it out, put it in fruit or something and go do the rest. Yes, yes, yes. That was Behind The Hits. I just chopped up with Mazza, hosted by Mixtape Madness and Myself Ebbs, sponsored by Novation. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>